Vietnamese encouraged to get married before 30. Vietnam aims to achieve growth of over 5% in 2020. National sport events might restart in June. Hello and welcome to FBNC News. Thanks for joining us in today's program. Even though some social distancing measures have been lifted and tourist attractions across the country have gradually reopened to welcome guests, many tour operators are still reluctant to operate on full scale due to low demand. Speaking to FBNC, representatives of travel companies said that they had just started their business by selling pasture services to small groups of tourists and has not organized long-distance tours for a large number of visitors. According to tour operators, this is mainly due to the fact that many localities have not yet fully reopened tourism services. On the other hand, the country is still practicing disease preventive measures such as limit the number of visitors. Therefore, number of tours must be reduced. Currently, companies are focusing on building summer tours only for the domestic market since international flights have not been allowed. Hiện nay cái tình hình mà khách quốc tế thì không vào, còn khách nội địa thì mình phải tổ chức như sao để cho cái sản phẩm của mình đó là phục vụ chú đáo, rồi có chất lượng. Experts say that the post-COVID-19 tourism market will have significant changes and being able to seize this opportunity will depend greatly on the agility of the relating authorities as well as travel companies themselves. Prime Minister Nguyễn Xuân Phúc has approved a birth rate adjustment program towards 2030 which encourages people to get married before the age of 30 and women to give birth to their second child before 35. The program is to increase the birth rate by 10% in selective localities. The targets aim to help Vietnamese accomplish the national population strategy by 2030. The Prime Minister ordered the issuance of regulations so that public employees and party members set the example of having no more than two children in their families. Areas with low birth rates should encourage families to have two children. Prime Minister Nguyễn Xuân Phúc asked local authorities to pilot policies to support couples in giving birth and raising children. Getting married or giving birth at an old age is not encouraged. Couples who have two children will have their income tax reduced and be assisted with children's tuition fees or expenses to rent houses or buying social housing. Children of these families will have priority to be admitted to public schools. Local authorities have also been asked to pilot marriage and family consultation services, such as dating clubs and pre-marriage health consultations. Pregnant women or those having two children will also have access to mother and baby health care and malnutrition prevention consultations. Another international organization has given a positive prospect for Vietnam for the rest of the year. The World Bank has just issued an update on Vietnam's macroeconomy for May, in which it said the economy may prosper again after social distancing measures were eased nationwide. The World Bank noted that after posting GDP growth of 3.8% in the first quarter of this year, Vietnam's economy then sold signs of recession in April. However, many positive indicators are giving confidence for a better growth of the country for the rest of the year. Exports grew by an estimated 4.7% year-on-year between January and April, compared to 6.5% in the same period last year. Committed FDI reached 12.3 billion US dollars in the first four months, down 15.5% year on year. However, registered FDI surprisingly rebounded in April by 81% month on month and 62% year on year, according to the World Bank. Credit growth, meanwhile, bounced back in March after being stagnant in January and February. The State Bank of Vietnam has provided eight packages since early March to allow banks to restructure loans and cut interest rates for borrowers. 
It also considered support for certain commercial banks to improve liquidity via raising credit limits so that these banks could increase loans for businesses facing financial difficulties. The outlook revision of World Bank reflects the impact of the escalating COVID-19 pandemic on Vietnam's economy through its tourism and export sectors and weakening domestic demand. It also demonstrates the country's strong medium-term growth prospects, lengthening record of macro stability, lower government debt levels, and stronger external finances compared with its peers, including foreign exchange reserves built up over the previous few years. Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc has requested Vietnam to strive for an economic growth of over 5% and controlling inflation below 4% this year. Earlier, the International Monetary Fund had forecasted Vietnam's growth rate is only about 2.7%. The government leader asked ministries, agencies and localities to offer support to firms, continue improving business environment, especially stepping up major projects, including 1.6 billion US dollars worth of public investment by the transport ministry, thus creating a driving force for the economy. He said the government has agreed to issue a thematic resolution on tackling difficulties faced by businesses, accelerate public investment disbursement, and restoring socio-economic development. Prime Minister Phuc highlighted the need to continue working for the double goals while easing social distancing measures to stimulate production and trade, especially in urban and tourist areas, adding that it's now a golden time to develop services economy. He instructed promoting the attraction of foreign and private investment, boosting exports and public capital disbursement, and stimulating domestic consumption. The Ministry of Planning and Investment was assigned to work with the Finance Ministry, the Ministry of Industry and Trade, and agencies concerned to promptly update growth scenarios and adjust targets related to state budget collection, overspending and public debt. The capital of Hanoi granted licenses to 235 foreign invested projects with total registered capital of 324 million US dollars in the first four months of this year. A further 35 projects registered additional capital of 365 million US dollars, while foreign investors contributed capital and purchased shares worth 293 million US dollars. During the period, the city earned over 4.3 billion US dollars from exports, down 4.7% year on year. Export earnings of domestic firms fell 4.6%, while that of foreign enterprises was down 4.7%. The city's industrial production index in April dropped 14.7% month on month and 4.3% year on year. The Vietnam National Petroleum Group has incurred a loss of over 1.8 trillion Vietnam domes, equivalent to more than 78 million US dollars in the first quarter due to the impact of COVID-19, according to its financial statement announced on May 5th. Petroleumax explained that due to the slumping petrol prices in the world, provision fund to make up falling prices of inventories has amounted to 1.5 trillion Vietnamese dong. Specifically, its revenue topped 39.49 trillion Vietnamese dong, while costs surpassed 38 trillion Vietnamese dong. The profits ratio dropped from over 9% to 3.7%. Meanwhile, domestic petrol prices hit 11-year low since April. Petrol sales went down 10% year-on-year, while profits of petroleum affiliates in transportation, gas, petrochemicals also decreased from the same period as last year. The Vietnam Sports Administration plans to kick off national tournaments after about a four-month interruption because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Permission is now pending for the government's approval. As per the original schedule, Vietnamese athletes were to compete in more than 110 local and international events in the first six months of 2020, while 19 national teams would take part in training courses. However, all have been cancelled or delayed. 
The VSA is waiting for the government permission to restart sport activities, according to the Deputy General Direction Chan Duc Phan. Football might be the first to restart as the Vietnam Professional Football Company VPF and the Vietnam Football Federation VFF expect matches of the National Cup could begin on May 15. After football, the national marathon events, the Tien Phong Newspaper Marathon, will be the second event to be organized. The competition, which has been delayed twice, is planned on July 4 on Lee Sun Island in central Quang Ngai province. Meanwhile, head of the table tennis department, Fan Tuan, said that his office can't wait to compete at the national tournaments, which will be a warm-up event for the national ones where they seek entries available for Tokyo Olympics in 2021. That's it for our program today. Thank you for watching and we see you tomorrow at the same time. Goodbye.